why the narcissist can never possibly be happy with you. Although, although they make out that they are so happy with you, that you are their dream come true, you are their soulmate right at the beginning of this relationship. It's a lie. It's all a lie. So in this video, in this video, I'm going to talk about why the narcissist could never be happy with you or anyone else come to think of it. Watch this video. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, I really wanted to talk about or explore why the narcissist can never, ever, ever, never be happy with anybody. Not just you, but with anybody. I know that for a lot of you, you know, you see them move on, you see them, you know, with new supply, maybe they've even cheated on you, and you're thinking, oh my God, is there something wrong with me? Like, why is this person okay? Like, they seem to be living their best life. The thing is, they haven't moved on. They ha they're not living their best life. This is all an illusion. I'm gonna be talking about this in the video. But before I get into the video, please know that I do go live on this channel every single week. So if you have any questions, if you have anything that's on your mind, join the live. And you know what, like the live chat as well, that's, that's basically happening on these lives is just phenomenal. It's amazing. There's so much support and love in that chat. So if you want to join the lives that happen here every week, please see the description box for more details. The burning question, why the narcissist can never be happy? Although they show you, they display to you, they, they kind of make everyone believe that they are so happy, they've got their life together, and it's you, you're the issue. Guys, guys, I say this so much on this channel, in the shorts, in the lives, actually on all of my social media platforms. It is an illusion. It is not real. Please tell me, okay, please tell me how someone can pretend to be happy. Like, I don't understand. I can't, I can't actually fathom that. Either you are or you're not. Okay, but to the world they show that they are. The thing is, that's, that is, that is a lie. That is, that is someone who is not authentic. Yet they have to show that they are happy. That they are doing their, you know, living their best life. And the reason for that is because it's a lie, it's a show, it's an illusion. And people who do that, okay, are not telling the truth. They need to prove something. Because underneath, deep down, underneath all of that, they're in turmoil, they're in anxiety, there is so much going on for them, their mind is entangled with so much, there's so much going on, and believe me, it isn't positive, it's always negative, because if it was positive, wouldn't they be okay, wouldn't they be all right within themselves, would they behave the way that they do, no, no they wouldn't, yeah, they would, they would be okay, they wouldn't be like this, how can you, how can you be with somebody and make someone feel the way that they have made you feel? And that is called an attachment disorder, where you're not able to attach onto someone in a healthy way, but you can't also detach from them in a healthy way. So you end up being this inauthentic person, this toxic person, okay, this toxic happiness that's what it is, it's toxic happiness that you're showing to everyone, but that isn't truly how you feel. That isn't what's going on underneath all of this. When you can't attach onto someone, okay, it means that you're disconnected from yourself. So if you're disconnected from yourself, how can you connect to another person? You can't, it's not physically possible, it's not possible. And what happens is this, is they are just repeating childhood patterns. The way that their parents have treated them, the, what they have witnessed in childhood, is what they are repeating in adulthood. It's just the same repeated programming, okay? That's what's going on. So the way that they have been with you, okay, gives you a window into their childhood, into what they know. 
They have to be this way because they believe that they have to use people to get things from people to get to where they want to be. This isn't, they never tell you how they truly feel. It's either this way or that way or whichever way. We don't know. We, we just don't know. And someone who does that is creating an illusion, a magic show. Okay, they're trying to divert your attention because they don't want you to know the real truth, the real them. If you did, you would know how dysfunctional they are. And the thing is, this is just a big facade. This is just false confidence. They're never going to show that they are vulnerable, that they're feeling this, that they're feeling that, because they would never want to show their real emotion because it's too dreadful. It's too hard. They've spent so much time trying to hide it. But the thing is, it comes out in other ways, even though they've tried to hide this, hide this, you know, put this down. But what you're doing is it's coming out in other behaviors, in other ways of interacting. If someone is healthy, they're not going to make you feel like this. They're going to be able to stand in their authentic truth and be themselves. A narcissist is like two or three, maybe five different personalities in one. Why do you change who you are? Why are you not being this one authentic person? Because what they also do is they compartmentalize. They're one person with this person, they're another person with this person, then they're another person with that person. Each person, each scenario, each experience brings out another part of them because they're not being truly authentically themselves. What they're trying to do is blend in, blend into these different situations because they have an image, they have a status to uphold. They want people to think a certain way of them. And that's why they are never happy because how can you be happy pretending to be someone else, pretending to be something else? You're not you. So they know that they are not accepted for who they are. Again, again, guys, this stems from childhood. Their parents either wanted them to be an extension of themselves. So they wanted the child to do exactly what the parent says, wants and does. And also the child learned very quickly that they weren't accepted the way that they are. So what they had to do is mold themselves into something that they wanted their parents. They wanted their parents wanted them to be. I hope that makes sense. And so what they do is they pretended to be what someone else wanted them to be. Now, fast forward that into adulthood. Can you see the similarities here? Because they did that with you. At the beginning, when they were love bombing you, when they were mirroring you, they did the same thing. They molded themselves into something that you would wish them to be. They weren't really themselves, which is why you fell into this um, trap of theirs, believing that this person is your soulmate. This person is there for you, that they are like you. They're not. That's not who they are. They don't actually have an identity. They don't know who they are. If you're swapping, chopping and changing different personalities, being a different person, who are you really? They do this because it's part of, do you know what? It's part of their bid to survive in the environment. It's part of their way of being able to survive. That's what they're doing. They're in survival mode. So they want people to accept them. They want people to see them in a certain light because they're embarrassed of who they are. They don't want people to find out what's going on, who they actually are. It's too much for them. So what you have to understand is that, you know, towards the end of the relationship, when they are showing you that they're not happy, that there's so much going on, you know, they're rageful, they're putting the blame onto you. All they're doing is projecting. They're projecting that. That isn't the truth. They are putting you down because it means that if you're this small, if you're not feeling important, if you're not feeling valued, then they are easier to control. You're malleable because you don't believe in yourself. You don't trust what you're thinking. This is why they gaslight. This is all tactics to be able to control you and the outcome. And people who do that are never happy. How can you be happy being so anxious, so, you know, focused on looking at what's going on in your environment, trying to fit in, trying to be something that you're not? How can you truly be happy? You're not anchored in the moment. You're not even yourself in that moment. So 
if you're being constantly distracted with these thoughts that are going on in your mind, if you're constantly having to concentrate on other things other than being your authentic self, how can you be happy? They're not happy in themselves, so they're not gonna be happy with you. They're not gonna be happy with anybody. They're not happy. There's always something going on. If you really think about it, when were they truly happy? And if they were happy, was that real or was that an act? Narcissists are all about getting their needs met. They want that attention. They want certain things from certain people or from certain situations. And they will, you know, adapt it so that it works out in the way that they want it to work out. This isn't about you. This is about them. This is about getting what they need from that person and from that moment. And this is very dysfunctional, but it's, it's a trauma response to try and survive in your environment because they can't and it's too intense for them. So if they can not be themselves, if they can project that onto others, then they're safe because they don't have to take accountability for their behaviors, for their actions and things that they say. They don't have to take accountability. So that's what it's about. It's about externalizing the blame, but also getting external validation because they can't give it to themselves. They can't self-soothe. They can't regulate their emotions. So they look to others to do that for them. Narcissists cannot be happy with anybody. Please remember that. Even though you are looking maybe at your ex-narcissist and you're seeing that they have moved on, that they're doing really good, they're living their best life, it is an act. It is not real. So guys, I really hope that this video makes sense and has given you more understanding and more clarity into what is going on in this situation because believe me, it's not pretty. They are not. They are not happy. Um, if you are someone that is going through this and would like to talk a little bit more, um, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. I also have a journal club and a mentorship. And if you would like more details, please see the description box below. I also have a Discord server, which is a great community base of like-minded individuals, just so you know that you're not going through this alone, that there are people there that are supportive and that they are wonderful. And there are people who have gone through similar experiences that you have absolutely free to join please see the description box for more details guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye